Hello and welcome to The History of True Crime. Today we are looking through the story of the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez, the self-proclaimed Satanist and one of America's most notorious serial killers. Richard Ramirez terrorized the people of California in the mid-1980s. He was convicted of 13 counts of murder, 5 counts of attempted murder, 11 counts of sexual assault, and 14 burglaries. He was known as the Night Stalker due to his habit of breaking into homes at night and attacking his victims while they slept. Ramirez's killing spree began in June 1984 and continued until August 1985. His victims were predominantly middle-aged or elderly and included men, women, and children. He often targeted couples, murdering the man and sexually assaulting the woman before killing her as well. Ramirez would typically break into the victim's home through an open window or unlocked door and attack them while they slept. He would then ransack the home, stealing cash and other valuables before fleeing the scene. In addition to the murders, Ramirez was also known for his brutal and sadistic treatment of his victims. He would often torture and mutilate their body, and some of his victims were found with satanic symbols carved into their flesh. Ramirez claimed to be a Satanist and would frequently invoke Satan during his attacks. Ramirez was known to have kidnapped a child and later returned the child after raping and mutilating them. Ramirez managed to evade capture for over a year. It wasn't until August 1985, when he was caught by civilians while trying to steal a car, that he was finally apprehended and brought to trial. Despite the severity and brutality of his crimes and the overwhelming evidence against him, Ramirez maintained his innocence and claimed that he was the victim of a conspiracy. He often disrupted proceedings in the courtroom by shouting out insults and making obscene gestures. He also made numerous death threats against the prosecution and the witnesses. Despite his disruptive behavior, the trial went forward and Ramirez was ultimately found guilty on all counts. He was sentenced to death in 1989 and was housed on death row at San Quentin State Prison. Ramirez remained on death row for over two decades before dying of natural causes in 2013. His killing spree and the terror he inflicted on the people of California have made him one of the most infamous serial killers in American history. The last words that Ramirez spoke have haunted many to this day. I am beyond good and evil. I will be avenged. Lucifer dwells in us all. While Ramirez's crimes were horrific and his reign of terror left a lasting impact on the people of California, his case also brought to light the issue of mental illness in the criminal justice system. Despite his history of drug abuse and mental illness, Ramirez was deemed competent to stand trial and was ultimately sentenced to death. The case raises questions about how the criminal justice system handles defendants with mental illness and whether they are truly able to receive a fair trial. In the years since his death, Ramirez has remained a controversial figure, and his case has continued to spark debate and discussion. Many people believe that he was a manipulative and cunning individual who used his mental illness and drug abuse as a way to avoid responsibility for his crimes. Others argue that he was a product of a broken system and that his mental illness was not properly addressed. Regardless of one's opinion on Ramirez, there is no denying the impact of his crimes. The people of California lived in fear during the time of his killing spree, and the memories of his brutal attacks continue to haunt those who were directly affected by them. Ramirez's case serves as a reminder of the importance of addressing mental illness and the need for a fair and just criminal justice system. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more true crime stories, like and subscribe. Who do you want to hear about next time? Comment down below to hear your favorite true crime stories. If you enjoyed this video and would like to find out more, click the link in the description to access our number one source of information.